Today, I am going to build 10 farms that I believe everyone should have within their Minecraft world, ranging from a sugarcane farm to tree farms, even to a farm that can automatically craft you unlimited wow. golden carrots for your world. If you go on to enjoy this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Get me to 5,000 subs, 10,000. Get me to a million subs, please. Also, I have no idea why I did this because this took me way too long just for this intro. Oh, okay. Now I've just got to remove this. That's better. So the first farm that I'm going to make is a bamboo farm. Because since the update that introduced like bamboo planks and all of that, I figured that this farm is a must have that everyone should have in their world. It just makes it a lot easier to make chests and all that sort of stuff. And it's relatively cheap and easy to make. As I was recording this video at the same time as my next video, I actually needed a load of hoppers. That's part of the reason why I was making the bamboo farm. But I ran out of iron. So I'm going to build a better iron farm. I put a post out today, as of recording this, as to decide whether or not to put the iron farm there and then somehow make some sort of stream or something for all of the items to come into the base. Or if I put the iron farm here in the middle of the base, I think it could look quite cool actually in the middle of the base. And the thing is, I can't figure out for the life of me how I would actually get the items into this system. Input chest is there and I'd have to somehow get it get it in as well as it look good. And I don't I don't know how to do that. I will leave you guys to comment some ideas for what I could do to either get it into the storage system and it look nice or a building or something to go underneath it. I've already got all the shulker boxes I need. Okay, so I've decided to create a bit of storage beforehand. So I'm hoping all the iron can go this way into these hoppers and then go across and do the normal sorting thing. Right now, it's time to set up getting the villages in. I do have some villages already here, um, but I don't know. Oh, I'm just going to get like a load of sand and turn it into sandstone. Oh yeah, I actually, I tried it already and I accidentally killed and ended up killing them. But if I do this, if I... If I uh... If I remove their beds, no, no, don't fall off. Come this way. Yeah, nice. Come, come this way. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. Get in. Cool, Gucci gang. Path find. Path find. Cool. Uh, this path is for the zombie. What? Have you already made a iron golem? All right. And now I should be able to just come hither and now get in the boat. Oh no, I've pushed it. 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 Uh oh. Stop. Get back. Get. Why can't I move it back central? Move. Well, let's just hope it stays, shall we? Yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. Well, well, you need to go. Eh. Go on, Fred. Get in the boat. Alright, okay. Alright, now I just need boats. I might just get three boats and take three over. And so the long part begins. Okay, this is taking a lot longer than I thought it would. They're being so stubborn. Just, here's the bed. Connect. Am I just going to have to use rails? Okay. Alright, now you, sir. 
I have to bring you all the way over. Hopefully you actually listen to the bloody bed. Connect. Connect. Just go to your bed. Go. Go to your bed. Get. Get. Thank you. Jesus Christ. For these rails, I'm going to finally take down this dirt tower that I built for the all advancements video. Which you can watch. You go go give me views. This is a uh, this is gonna take a while. Oh they all despawned because they weren't traded with or name tagged. Why wait, you were name tagged? I'm confused. Oh I've gone too high. <laughs> well I've gone to the second level by accident. Oh for crying out loud. Now go. So now this one is fully active. And this is all I did for the next hour, two hours, however long it was. Just gathering villagers, putting them in the rail carts, chuck them in their area, and then going back and repeating the process. Right, now that is officially the last villager put in. I now just have to remove all of this and figure out a way to get a zombie in. I have mobs over here. Oh, I need eight name tags. George one. Oh, why do I have a zombie herd now? No, no. Can you? George two. Get lost. Ted. And then we'll have Freddy, Todd, Harry. Female. We'll have Velma, Charlotte. Oh, I need zombies in here. Do they just not want to spawn on this side of the world? What? Okay, well, it looks like the only place where zombies spawn are all the way over here. So I'm going to have to somehow get safely get eight zombies across unless i can get one across and then get villagers and then turn them all into zombie villagers that will work right now oh, you do quite a bit of damage it's gonna take a while dun, 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 ow 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 all right you're gonna stay there so i can make you some friends So will you now do that and then fall? Uh, no, because I didn't leave it open. Right now, will you? What? How did you? Okay. Okay, that's two down. I've just got to do this for the rest. And then next nightfall, we need to try and get all eight of these in the right position. Now, where are you going? No, where are you going? Okay. All right, hurry up. No! Oh. All right, that took way too long. Jesus Christ. But I have now cleared all of that i've got a zombie in each of one of these each with their own name on both levels now let's just see what the rates are going to be like because i think i'm going to have a little bit of a nap at um 5 a.m <laughs> so the results after a few hours of afking and this entire side is full and now it started on the second section of like on like the single chest but i think the next farm we should make is a redstone farm Right, so I believe this is everything that I'm going to need, apart from I also need three stacks, almost four stacks, of string. And I don't have a fast way of getting said string, so why don't I build one? Here is a very simple but yet very effective string farm that you can build in your world. It takes advantage of the glitches in the game, it basically just duplicates the string, as you'll see in a second. Uh, so this is a duper, so now apparently if I do this oh well then that's, that's an easy way to get a string in there now annoyingly the witch farm isn't going to be as easy and quick because so i've got to fly quite far away to even find one all right here's our witch hut now i feel like you're going to be annoying i'm going to kill you now i'm just going to do this and now i just need to destroy the entire thing Uh, 
Oh wait, I'm a bimbo. Okay, now I just have to do the exact same thing on the roof. No! Yeah, lost. I've been playing too much Minecraft. This is just annoying me now. And now please tell me this is gonna work. Okay. So the farm still didn't work, but I think I found the solution. The first thing I did was update the game to 1.21 because the rates of drops are higher in this update. I also experimented with the heights of the platform. So I did it 90 from the roof of the farm or 80, 85 and tried to test to see which was best. I think I landed on around 90, 95 blocks above the farm and finally i also did end up spawn proofing the entire area i think it's like 30 to 50 blocks wide all the way around surrounding of torches and then i created a little sorting system as witches drop quite a lot of different items and so now i have this little sorting system underneath the farm and a load of redstone I did all of this whilst I was working away in Manchester and I also decided to download a couple of mods, one of which was the free cam mod. So I'm actually able to watch farms whilst I'm AFKing to see if they're working or not. And it's been a major help in other builds that I've made after this. But now I think it's time to move on to the next farm I think everyone should have in their world and that is a stone farm. And how you build this farm is very simple. It's just a five by four area with water either side, lava in the middle and two pistons to push you either side. That is literally it. All right, so the next farm that I am in need of is a shulker farm. Now I'm currently at the point on my storage system that I need a load of shulkers. So I've started to get some items ready. I'm gonna need a lot more redstone. So I'm gonna have to quickly head over to the witch farm. I'm just gonna bring a load over. Peters, comparators, chests, servers, hoppers, <clears throat> lever. Now what's left to do is go and build it in the end. I'm going to try a different gateway. That was perfect. End city. Oh, you still got the little gremlins, right? I haven't killed them all. Yes. Okay, cool. So the tutorial that I followed for this farm was from a channel called The Archivists. Now I'm not sure if it's their original design or if it's someone else's design that they're just doing a tutorial on, but it works really well. Now basically how this farm works is because you're using scaffolding and slabs, you give the shulkers no choice but to teleport to a certain area of the farm where it will then get angry by the snow golems that are firing at them. And as soon as the shulkers take enough damage, they then duplicate and split into two. But because the original shulker is in that specific area, it means the other shulker has no choice but to teleport up top to the boats. And then rather than staying in the boats, it goes to a certain area by the center of the farm. And again, the same thing happens because they're constantly firing. So they damage themselves, they duplicate, and it's basically just that whole repetition. And apparently if the player stands AFK, because the shulker is aiming for the player, it means that you get more rates from it or something. I'm not totally sure how that works. As I am in need of wood, and to be fair, I use jungle wood as part of my builds and stuff, so I need a lot of jungle wood. I am going to make a tree farm for my next farm, as well as needing to make a bone meal farm. So this is the <laughs> bone meal farm. It's a lot larger than I remember it being when I built it in my uh, tester world, but it's designed by enx 4 All the links and everything for these builds and stuff will be in the description, of course. But this is going to help produce me a load of bone meal to then be able to use on the tree farm. Now I can make a smaller version of this and attach it to the tree farm, but because I'm going to be growing primarily uh, da, 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 jungle trees, um, they don't really produce many saplings. So I feel like there's no point in actually doing it that way. And then this here is said tree farm. Now it has to be, I have to be facing west, so it has to be facing this way when I use it. I suppose now it's just time to get materials for these. Luckily, it looks like a lot, but luckily the material list is actually quite simple. So obviously, yes, there's a, there's a lot of gla glass, grass blocks I can ignore. I should have a lot of these already.
Right, there you go. Full stack. Ashoka. That sentence made loads of sense. Right, well that's everything. The only thing I need now is some moss. And if I remember correctly, there was a blimmin' lush caves right around here, even though I spent hours looking for it. There it is. Right, now I can actually, I can actually build this. I believe this is done. I just need to throw some uh, bone meal in here. The more the better, but I actually only have access to 60 currently. I just realized, doesn't my wither farm produce loads of bones? Uh, yeah, yeah, I thought so. Okay. I might as well fill all of this up and then I can start collecting new bits of bone meal instantly. This is what it's supposed to do, and it is quite quick. I did the 30 minute timer with this compared to a smaller farm, and this one was miles better. Now it's time to get started on this. I need to gather a load of saplings uh, and sort out these hoppers and also fill both of these chests and the dropper everything with bow meal just like that so everything is now full We've got plenty of those but I need more than just 11 saplings so all right it's taken destroying a, a very large area to be able to just get two stacks of saplings Let's check a stack in there, stack in there. Right, time to test this, shall we? Uh, uh, which way is on? Is that on? That, that looks like it's on, but, oh wait, was I supposed to? Well, I'm assuming that's not supposed to be there. Oh yeah, there you go. There we go. The only thing with jungle wood is that it doesn't drop many saplings. You know what, I'm just going to stay here and get a load of wood ready. Well, I am officially out of saplings. So let's see, let's see how much it got me. Decent amount. Okay, there's only four saplings in there. Right, so there's only a couple more farms that I need to and want to make. And so the penultimate farm is a sugarcane farm. Right, so first of all, I've got to dig out a 19 by 42 area. So I got this design off a YouTube channel called Hardship YT. Can you guys back off? I'm not sure if he designed it, but that's the tutorial that I followed. The only thing I changed is that I implemented the same flying machine as the bamboo farm. So the sugarcane farm works the exact same way as the bamboo farm does. But again, it's very cheap to make, apart from the iron for the hopper mine carts. But other than that, you should be able to make this quite early on. I've had to put an observer here so it can detect when this one grows up to three. And then the redstone line will then set off the lamp, which then sets off the observer. And then it'll go to the end and bounce back, the same as the bamboo farm. The final, th farm i think i'm going to try and do an automatic golden carrot farm and to do this automatic golden carrot farm i'm going to put it in my already made storage system which you will see next episode but essentially there is this giant portal at the end now initially i wasn't actually going to put this in but i've since changed my mind so all of the pigmen will spawn from a gold farm and they will fall down here and get killed uh on the on the on the wither rose right there and then all of their drops will fall will come down and get sorted into nuggets into a system that is down here as well as an automatic carrot farm which is down here and then they will both go into an auto crafter which will automatically craft them into golden carrots which will then shoot into a water system up 
into those hoppers and then enter the storage. And now that's dug out. I've just got to waterlog all of these. And I've just got to hoe the ground. And now I've just got to get these villagers in. Now, luckily, I've got way more villagers than I need, and I still have no idea why this is happening. I need to clean up this world a little bit because I don't need that. I don't need that. There's this area, tough area that I don't need either. I just can't be bothered yet. All right. Now I'm hoping you survive. Okay. And now you go in there. And now you can't get out. But now I need to get minecarts in. Alright, do that. And then another one. And then that there. Get those carrots in. And then... Yeah, eat you in there no you need to no get you in the right place make a trade all right there's that bit just fill this back in i'm just gonna use glowstone because i actually didn't have any torches and i can't be bothered to make them right now i need that there time to build the auto crafter bit now i believe it's that there and then Droppers. And that's there. Alright, and then that's where the carrots are gonna go. And then this is the oh sorter, that's what I'm trying to say. And then the reason why these chests are here is because for some reason. I don't fully understand why Redstone does what it does, but with this sorter, if these are just facing that way, these lock. But if it's next to a chest, it doesn't lock. I don't really get it, but... Like that. And then lava there. And I don't have enough hoppers, somehow. Right, now all I need is turtle eggs, and I'm going to have to remember to get a good few, because I'm going to need some for the gold farm as well. Well, luckily, I've already got all of these geezers. Give me eggs. 13 should be enough. I'm going to quickly make uh, fire resistance potions, because I don't know where this portal is going to spawn me, and I'm going to have to get back on the roof. Right, that there. And then... That there, so then they'll run after it and fall down and then die. Right, let's see where this takes me, shall we? Oh, it's taking me in my netherite area. Okay. Oh, right, this is this is under a lot of lava, isn't it? Because I'm okay. Time to dig straight up. Oh, yep, and that's what I was afraid of. And boop. that and then right so now that's ready I just need loads of magma blocks but I don't actually know how many I'm not copying any specific sort of gold farm but I know that there is one with portals and they spawn a magma blocks and you top it off of glass and they chase after this basically it. Oh, I made the head height too high. It needs to be there. It needs to be there. So here's the annoying thing about this farm that I tried to make, right? I spent hours building this. Just then have to change the size because I realized it was three high rather than two. 
and I did it all wrong. And then I set up the craft already because you've got to put carrots in and surround it with nuggets ready for it to actually craft so it knows what to craft. After that, I then made an AFK platform for the gold farm and piglins spawned, but they weren't going in. And because I've been doing this for so long already, I honestly just couldn't be bothered. So whilst I was back in Manchester for work, I went into my testing world and tested out some other ways to create this farm to actually make it work because this is the original design that you know a lot of gold farms have and it just wasn't working so i don't know if it's the update or i was doing something wrong but it wasn't working until eventually i found a design that did work well i have figured it out it's it's a slightly different design um i've basically had to do normal size portals and double the layer of uh magma blocks so each one now has two layers to make it just too high but the second layer is always in line with the bottom of the portal so that the pigment actually run in so if i sit up here and go into the free cam you can see that they actually all go into the portal now minus minus that guy apparently what's what what are you what are you doing guy what are you what are you doing there did you want to not and if I go into the storage bit, uh, they are all here and dying, as you can hear. Oh, oh no. Um, okay, wait, wait, wait. No. Chicken? Why is there a chicken? But they are all falling down here and dying. It's working! I'm getting automatic golden carrots! Now I just need the water stream and, and hope that it stays working. So at the moment, I can't actually join it onto my storage system, but eventually... The water stream will be up there and it will go into the hoppers and uh and yeah go into the storage so yeah that's uh that's all the farms i'm gonna need all 10 of them so um subscribe